Well, we're just getting a taste of winter here in green country, but to our east, a winter storm is expected to dump as much as 10 inches of snow in the mid Atlantic. Government offices and schools are closed and flights have been canceled. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Jonathan Cooper and I'm Shannon Russo. That storm, of course, bringing a lot of trouble for people on that part of the country. Right now, nearly half a million are without power. Skylar Henry has the very latest from Washington. It took a team of strong people to push the moving staircase meant for Air Force One. Stuck in the snow at Joint Base Andrews outside Washington, D.C. Those on board, including President Biden, waited 30 minutes to deplane before an hour-long treacherous ride back to the White House. Good tires were a must for those trying to drive, and plows couldn't keep up with the snow that forecasters say was falling at a rate of two inches per hour. Stay off the roads. That's the big thing. The roads are very slick. Washington, D.C.'s mayor declared a state of emergency that started at midnight so crews could focus on salting and plowing. And as you can see, their work is cut out for them with downed trees seemingly on every corner and inches of snow on the ground. In the nation's capital, government offices and schools are closed. It's a similar story up and down the East Coast. The storm also cut off power to more than 400,000 customers in Tennessee, Georgia, the Carolinas, and Virginia. And thousands of travelers hoping to fly home after the holidays found themselves grounded. What's amazing is this is affecting all airlines, many airports. It's a mess on a mess on a mess. Airlines canceled more than 2,500 flights Monday after canceling 2,700 flights on Sunday. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.